Anxiety is in fear, and understanding the difference could change your life. Here's what neuroscientists discovered. When you're afraid, specific brain regions like the amygdala fire up with quick defensive responses. But anxiety? It activates a completely different network. Areas involved in decision-making, prediction, processing uncertainty. Your brain is working overtime, trying to prepare for threats that might not even exist. Fear has an object. You're afraid of something. A spider, a deadline, getting hit by a car. You can point to it, but anxiety doesn't work that way. Anxiety is what happens when there's no specific object. You're not responding to a clear threat. You're responding to uncertainty itself. What might happen? What could go wrong? All the possibilities you can't predict or control. And here's the kicker. Research shows people with anxiety disorders don't necessarily overreact to actual threats. What they do is struggle to determine what's safe versus dangerous. They show elevated responding to safety signals, broader generalization of learned threats, and trouble letting go even after danger passes. They can't tolerate uncertainty. This concept, intolerance of uncertainty, is now recognized as a major factor underlying all anxiety disorders. Generalized anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, social anxiety, panic disorder, common thread, uncertainty itself becomes unbearable. So what happens when you reframe anxiety not as a malfunction, but as a fundamental response to the human condition? Well, understanding that anxiety is fundamentally about uncertainty and that it's rooted in the very structure of human existence changes how we might approach it. We can't just eliminate uncertainty from life. The future will always be uncertain, we will always face choices and possibilities that we can't fully predict or control. That's part of what it means to be human. But we can develop different relationships with that uncertainty. We can learn to tolerate it better, to sit with the discomfort of not knowing without spiraling into overwhelming anxiety. Rather than trying to eliminate all uncertainty or get absolute guarantees about the future, the goal is to increase tolerance for ambiguity and unpredictability, to recognize that uncertainty is inevitable and that we can function even when we don't have all the answers. At its core, anxiety isn't the same as fear, and it's not just a disorder to be eliminated. It's a fundamental aspect of human consciousness, tied to our awareness of freedom, time, and possibility. It emerges from the fact that we're beings who can reflect on our own existence, who care about what might happen, and who must live with the inherent uncertainty of the future. Understanding anxiety this way is something ontological rather than just psychological, helps us see it not as a malfunction, but as part of the human condition. And maybe that understanding itself can take some of the edge off. If this changed how you think about anxiety, let me know in the comments.